As Minnesota sports fans have lost a legendary radio voice and true fan of Golden Gopher sports. A longtime WCCO AM announcer Ray Christensen died at his Rosemont home at the age of 92. For 50 years, he was the voice of Gopher basketball and football. He also did play by play for the Vikings and Twins. Governor Mark Dayton expressed his sympathy, saying Christensen made the best win sound sensational and the worst losses almost bearable. Bill Hudson looks back at this remarkable career. Wave it is picked up by McDonald into the front court. For generations of Minnesota sports fans, it's a voice forever etched on a football afternoon or a Williams Arena night. Moves all the way in, puts it up and puts it in. Ray Christensen was a WCCO radio fixture since 1963, but he got his start at the University of Minnesota's KUOM in 1949. Ray was WCCO's original designated hitter. Dave Mona knew Ray well, recalling a broadcaster who did it all. From news and sports to classical music, even school closings. But calling gopher games was his love. On Saturday, he would have the entire team numbers and names and pronunciations, which to him was maybe more important than the other two, all in his mind before the start of the game. So he would almost never referred to his notes when calling a football game. Many recall Ray's precise language and quick wit. Yeah, I have discovered you don't have to have complete sentences. You can still get the job done. His humility was off the charts. Ray's passion for speaking clearly started early. And then he gets out of the service and he does classical music and, you know, with all the classical musicians. So he learned how to pronounce and enunciate quite well before he moved into sports, but he, he did everything. In 97, he'd call his last basketball game. And in 2001, after 50 years of Gopher football, Christensen turned the mic over to Dave Lee. His broadcasts were never about Ray. His broadcasts were about the Gophers, his pride and joy. He was one of the kindest, nicest people you could ever want to meet. Buddy is saying that about Ray. Now, Christensen was also a decorated soldier in World War II and was very proud of his service. Though he retired years ago, it didn't silence his voice. He spent many years recording talking books for the blind, giving oh, I didn't back. Know that. Absolutely. Well, it's nice when everyone says you were a good man. Now, sure. We hope they say that about us. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, a lot of people are kind of wondering mm -hmm. memorials, funerals, any kind of arrangements or plans? Nothing yet. The family's still working on that. It's possible. I'm hearing that it could be Friday or Saturday, but it still hasn't been worked out. However, they have designated memorials to the Communication Center for the Blind, the CLA Scholarship Fund at the U of M, and the Danish Center Genealogy Department in Elkhorn, Iowa. So again, people are just uh, can't say enough about how kind and nice and uh, what a remarkable voice. Yeah, oh, indeed. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. All right. Thank you, Bill. You bet.